SeaWorld's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin, which ultimately and quite simply is the chance for our guests to take a journey to the bottom of our planet, uh, to the South Pole. Uh, the continent of Antarctica is the driest, windiest, uh, most unpredictable continent on the planet. And there live some amazing animals. And journeying to SeaWorld's Antarctica, our guests will have a chance to experience a family ride adventure like none other. They'll be able to walk into the world of the penguins, and they'll also have a chance to dine amongst the science of Antarctica, and then also shop for some unique, intelligent souvenir items that can actually help penguins and Antarctica in the wild. Puck in the attraction. We're there when he's born in extreme circumstances of a blizzard and then we have to take shelter from that blizzard. So we follow Puck and his family to take shelter. So when you walk through you, you, you get to meet Puck and the Penguin family and you can get to know the story a little more. And as you but as you proceed through that space we are we are also taking the temperature down slightly. In the very beginning when you're walking through we're also bringing the humidity down significantly to dry you out and we're also blowing a lot of air to for a wind effect, but at the same time, it's giving us some convection, and we're, and we're drying your clothing and the body off. Mm -hmm. So we gradually transition you as a guest to this sub-freezing environment. And as we do, we then reunite with Puck, and he's a little older, and we follow Puck's life, and eventually we board into Empire of the Penguin. This is an unbelievable ride system. I mean, I, I still, I still sit here watch these vehicles move through the space, especially when we have multiple vehicles moving in the same space. You've got paths that are crisscrossing. There's, there's a lot going on in the overall ride system. This is this is truly unique. This one of a kind in terms of what we have here in this overall ride package. And we follow Puck through Antarctica and we see it through his eyes. And it's not how you and me see Antarctica. It's how Puck sees Antarctica. And it's wonderful. It's colorful. And it's imaginative, and this is really Puck's world. And we play in that world. There is no track bolted to that ground, and there is nothing keeping us from going any direction we want to go in that space. So it, the, the bus, you know, it's almost endless. You can, you can do anything you want. So you have to create this, really, this dance, this choreography of these vehicles moving, moving around in relation to each other, and it, it's kind of symbolic of the interactions you have with each other as going through this on this epic journey. It's just like the, the penguins and the colony and joining the colony and how the penguins stay together and together they are better than, than, than separate. But then it's, you know, it's time to, you know, Puck gets a little older, he's got to grow up and he's got to make that trek to the edge of the ice to go hunt for the first time. Penguins get their food from the ocean. In fact, they spend most of their time in the ocean swimming and hunting for food. But Puck, we're there for the first time that he dies in that water for the very first time. But that's where danger lurks because the predators for penguins primarily live in the water. And there's some leopard seals in underwater in Antarctica that are very interested in penguins for food, which also they're very interested in us um, as penguins for food. And Puck saves the day, of course, and he saves the day and reunites with the penguin colony and the real penguins of SeaWorld's Antarctica, where the guests simply the door opens of their vehicle and they simply take one step off and they're inside the penguin habitat. approximately 250 birds that comprise this colony. There's four species and guests are getting up close encounters with these penguins and really feeling the chill of Antarctica. Our habitat is 30 degrees and the guests are immersed into this 30 degree chill. And uh, the water is 45 degrees and if you're close enough sometimes you'll get splashed by the penguins zipping around and uh, porpoising out of the water and they're splashing us. So it, it really grabs all your senses. You can hear the penguins uh, vocalizing to each other, you can see them right up close, and um, it's really like what life is like in Antarctica. Expedition Cafe is a new culinary concept for SeaWorld Parks Entertainment, where we're really taking the idea that we'll let our guests go in there, pick whatever food you want. We took the lines out. That's lines and all that stuff is hideous. So go get all the food you want, and on the way out, 
pay us, is how that works. Uh, so we're trusting our guests a little bit, and inside are food from three of the founding countries that helped save Antarctica and signed the treaty in 1959 that actually protects Antarctica. Because most guests don't know, we're all Antarcticans. If we're a member of the 50 countries that are currently part of the treaty that protects Antarctica, that makes you an Antarctican. And that's why I wear this name tag, says Antarctica, and also says Tennessee, but I'm a Tennessee and Antarctican because we're all Antarcticans if you're from those countries, and that's why we should care to help protect it. Cup That Cares is one of my favorite details of this attraction. Um, it actually came out of our attraction think tank. It was actually supposed to be part of the Turtle Track attraction, but it was so forward-thinking and so forward-thinking that there wasn't technology to support it. The idea that you can purchase a souvenir vessel, fill it with beverage, which are things that people and guests want to do all the time when they're in a theme park. So we have to find things that we're gonna do anyway. So we do this, we put RFID technology into it, and we assign it to the guest as a user or an owner of that cup. And every time that you refill that cup at the South Pole Beverage Station located at SeaWorld's Antarctica, we will track the reduction of CO2 by using a refillable, reusable cup, not making any trash, zero waste, and reusing this cup. You're not throwing anything away. And that helps penguins and Antarctica. So we're hoping that behavior that you learn here at SeaWorld's Antarctica, you'll take home. And multiplying that by millions and millions of guests will actually make a difference for penguins in the wild.